that the effect we have on the Conservative Party is actually more psychological than it is arithmetical. You know, the reason the Conservatives didn't do very well in Eastleigh wasn't actually because of Diane and UKIP. It was, it was because Conservative voters are used to listening to a Conservative leader that talks about business, free markets and aspiration. And they've now got a Conservative leader who talks about gay marriage and wind turbines. <laughs> so I think that's, why, that's why the Conservative Party are doing well. And you will have heard from Conservative MPs, MEPs, and indeed in the editorials of some of our national newspapers, the call that a deal must be done between the Conservative Party and UKIP. And there are two things I will say about that at this juncture. My first is that even if we were looking to do a deal, we wouldn't be doing it with a man who takes every single opportunity to abuse us, our ideas, our policies, and our millions of supporters out there in the country, there is no prospect at any time of us doing a deal with David Cameron as leader of the Conservatives. But actually, doing a deal isn't my personal priority. I didn't come into politics to do a deal with somebody for some sort of short-term, personal or political advantage. I came into politics from business on a point of principle. I want my country back from the European Union.
back of those European elections, we are able to win hundreds of district and unitary seats up and down this country, added on to whatever we can achieve on May the 2nd this year, we will then have built up those hotspots, those centres of excellence. And with that momentum, and by showing the electorate we can succeed under first past the post, and by beating down the biggest obstacle that's ever happened to UKIP, which is that it's a wasted vote, by showing people that it's not a wasted vote, we can then mount a serious, credible campaign for the general election of 2015. We are not there yet, ladies and gentlemen, but it has been my honour over the course of the last year to lead you, to see the fantastic progress that we're making. We're not there yet, but I'll tell you what, we're getting closer.